What is up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another video regarding Godzilla King of the Monsters. So as a couple of you guys may know, there was a bit of confusion regarding the second trailer that will be coming out this weekend. Essentially what happened is ScreenRant.com got word from Warner Bros that there will not be a trailer this weekend. They said it would not be coming out Saturday or Sunday, but rather later next week. Then director of Godzilla King of the Monsters Mike Doherty came out and said that was not true, and then he went on to say that this trailer will be coming out this Sunday. This, by the way, will be showcased during the Comic Con in Brazil. And speaking of that, we did get to see a sneak peek of the display for Godzilla King of the Monsters. There are many different pictures included, but what I want to focus on in today's video is this photograph right here. Now, if you guys can recall back to the first first ever photograph of this film, we saw Godzilla standing in the ocean firing off the atomic breath into the sky. As astonishing and as terrifying as that photograph was, not many fans really noticed what was next to him during that scene. In the bottom left floating on top of the surface of the ocean is a submarine. Now this is very reminiscent of Godzilla 1998. We got to see Zilla get attacked by several missiles, but as everybody is aware, Zilla is not even close to the same level as Godzilla is. Godzilla has the size, the power, the abilities, and the experience. Zilla back in 1998 to many people's surprise was very similar in size to that submarine. In this new King of the Monsters photograph, however, Godzilla dwarfs the submarine. I would have to say out of all the film screenshots, the set photographs, and the one trailer we got, this is by far the most terrifying shot we ever got. Being deep down into the ocean regardless of who you are is terrifying enough. There are so many mysteries within the ocean that nobody really knows what's coming next. Already having that fear in mind, you can only imagine looking out your window to see Godzilla standing right there. Any creature that stands at over 350 feet in height and has glowing eyes is horrifying enough. We can obviously assume that this submarine is attacked, and that would then lead to this shot right here. Now keep in mind just because we are getting this sneak peek does not mean that this exact shot will be showcased in the film. It may very well be a depiction of what's about to take place, but honestly that's good enough for me. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the Godzilla panel looks to be inside the submarine itself. That just makes it a bit more terrifying and realistic for the fans. But in your opinions, is Godzilla staring at the submarine underwater the most terrifying shot we have received so far? And do you guys believe this will be topped during the second trailer? Write this all down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.